Fresh for Tyre, but he's spending 25 hours a week helping students at Horty Elementary with math and science. News Channel 9's Jessica Harthorn found out how one of his recent projects is impacting the way kids learn by simply where they sit. Mm -hmm. The kids at Hardy Elementary like to call Leroy Alexander coach, but for the students that he mentors every week, they have no problem being stuck sitting on the bench. The bench is a fan favorite in Rachel Burgess's fifth grade classroom because here the kids can choose from a variety of seating options while they learn. They're able to stay focused longer. They're more comfortable. Um, it's more collaboration. Rachel came up with the idea about a month ago, but it was classroom foster grandparent Leroy Alexander who got the ball rolling. We're a better school because we have him. In no time flat, Coach Alexander found a hardwood store to donate the wood, then asked the wood shop students at Howard High School to put them together. I said, are you serious? Do I need to go pick them up? No, I'll go pick them up. And so a week later, before fall break, he brought my two bitches and the kids love them. And today, Rachel gets to make a special delivery to Coach Alexander. Coach Alexander. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for everything that you have done for me, my benches, everything, just being here. So on behalf of New Ch News Channel 9, it make me and law firm, let me pay it for it. Open your hand, coach. One, what is going on? two, <laughs> three, four, and $500 pay it forward. Rachel says Coach Alexander often connects with kids who are struggling with issues at home and are reluctant to talk to teachers. Read that and then put it in your own words. What do these kids mean to you? Everything. I know that this is our future. As far as his future, Coach Alexander says he wants all kids to feel like they've been recruited to the team. For Pay It Forward, I'm Jessica Harthorn. Good work, Coach. A good man right yeah, there. Yeah, no doubt. And check in with David Glenn one last time.